2018, yeah, next year. Which it, it feels like, a, you know, because we put stuff out in 2016, like the start of January. It feels like it's, God, that's a long way away from, but I suppose in, it doesn't, as long as you're constantly gaining momentum, it doesn't really matter when you, you know, put, you don't want to rush it, I suppose. You only get one chance to do a debut album, don't you? I'd say part of me would say go out there and just meet as many people as possible. And just and that's, that is the key. Yeah, and just play the songs to them. But then a part of me also thinks if they're not ready, because as soon as you put something on the internet, it's kind of, it's just there, isn't it? So I think almost do as much background and stuff you know, probably not on the internet until you feel like, yeah, this is it. This is up. This is I want everyone to hear this song. I think if you've got a bit of doubt, then don't put it out there. And but just do the background work, like do the gigs, you know, sell the CDs and all that kind of stuff. But and work with as many different musicians and you know try and get co-writing sessions to get you know some experience of that kind of thing. You know, working with people that have written number one songs is, is you you're only going to learn something, aren't you, really? Um, but yeah, I think I think just meeting people and just playing the songs is, is an in, important thing. And then once you've got those, this is the you know this is how, this is how I want to sound. And then you know look to put it on the internet and things like that. And getting a manager, and then hopefully everything will just build from from that really.